Yo, ho, ho. welcome back to another one, guys. Ho, ho, ho. Today, 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 boys, we're gonna be headed out to the big public marsh. And today we're going with Mike and his uncle, Larry. Now, a lot of you longtime subscribers have met Larry. He is an absolute hoot. Uh, just, just very, very funny guy. He's an older, older guy, and, uh, you guys know Mike. Mike hunts with us a lot on, on the big goose hunts. Well, his Uncle Larry, <clears throat> long story short, we always go, uh, public hunting with his Uncle Larry. And his Uncle Larry, uh, on video, I'm telling you, it's, it's one of the, the biggest characters I've ever had here on the channel. Every time we go out there and I make a video with him, it's absolutely hilarious. So, to today hit it it's right now it's 4 a.m. in the morning and I am so excited because Larry is hilarious I mean you guys are absolutely gonna love Larry we're gonna have his duck boat we're gonna have his dog uh, we got about an hour drive to get there and today we're going back to the public spot haven't been public hunting for a few videos here so I hope you all are ready the public hole is loaded. I mean, our public marsh out west is absolutely loaded. Before we go, check out the Olive Ducks hoodie. And oh boy, I haven't shown you guys this forever. The Early Riser hat. Yep, it is available. Both of these items I will link down in the description below. If you like them, go click the link. Go check them out and pick yourself up one. Really going to enjoy this one. Today, I'm going to put away the big camera. Today is going to be nothing but shooting. I'm strapping the GoPro on the head. And we're going to try to get our limit today, boys. So, a lot of the prior videos, I've put away the GoPro. I've put down the gun. You guys have really enjoyed them. But today is going to be a little different. We're taking it back. We're putting on the GoPro, and we're going to get after it. Oh, right to the juice, boys. Oh, yes. That's what I've been feeling lately. The old lemonade. Plugs in. Yeah, plugs in. I guess that's important. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jack. Meet Jack. He's going to be working today. He's a good dog. You're a good boy. Is it early, buddy? Huh? Yeah. Poor guy. Oh, old Larry, man. He's a hoot. He's funny. It's they, the Mike and Larry, man. I love hunting with these guys. They have so much fun together. So, check it out here, old Larry has a, a four-wheel drive, just tank of a van. It is the baddest duck van you've ever seen in your life. Four-wheel drive, three-quarter ton, got a dang, look at the guard on the front of her, just a beaut. Four-wheel drive, three-quarter ton. No! No! Oh, whoa! Oh. oh, God. Bad deal. First morning out might be my last for a while. <laughs> Larry is anxious to get in the water, let me tell you what. What's this the headlamp doing? How old is Jack? He's uh, I think he's a little over nine. A little over nine? Pushing ten probably. Pushing ten. Yeah. Still out here doing the duck thing. Oh yeah. He's a good boy. You're a beast, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna get the ducks. He's like, you bet your butt. Yep. <laughs> the old duck boat. Get a shovel, get in. All right. You got it. All right, we're okay, we're good. Yeah. Uh, old this crap. Getting too old for this crap? Bologna. We're okay, we're okay. Can I get through the shit? Can't get through the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> the old boat's just a chugging. Oh, oh. Here we are off. Off to the races. <laughs> oh, he's got a GPS today. Using the old GPS, Larry's got it mapped out from yesterday. Well, someone's in Larry's spot, literally right in the spot that he marked yesterday. 
so uh, I'm going to have to find a different spot here. That's okay, there's a good all the way along this thing. It's a Wednesday too, is it Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday! There's more people out here than we figured. Well, we're all sat up. I'll show you guys the spread here in a minute once the sun comes up. We're about now probably two minutes away from shooting lights. So, got the old GoPro on the head. Let's do some work. Beautiful morning. Got a big pocket over here of Gadwall and Widgeon. We put all the green heads and all the mallards over here. Mojo's right in the center. Oh, we just, well, it's shooting light and we just got burnt by a little till here. Oh, here we go. Call that shot, Mike. I'll, I'll let you call it. <laughs> I would have shot it, too. We got one working over here. I thought they were just going to do it right on in. Yeah, I thought they were, too. Come on. Nope. Nope, they might circle around back. No. Yeah, he got buzzing in pretty yeah. fast. <laughs> well, I just took a shot and didn't... this got up. Didn't uh, get the camera on, took a shot at a till that was way too fast for me. Oh, yeah, that's, too, that's a fly line. When it's trying, oh, God. They're following that channel right there. That's a hell of a channel. That must know what he was talking about. It's that northeast corridor. Here we go. That's a nice group. Come on, get in here. Here we go. Oof. Hey, they Yeah, I think it's that mojo. We got a mojo out there not spinning. They shoot about as good as we do. <laughs> nice three pack. Oh, well, that didn't help. Oh, gee, many war zone behind us didn't help us at all. We got one coming right in. There we go. Was that a greenie? I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell either. Almost looked like a green head. I saw barrel come over my head. I kept sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Larry was ready to spray and pray, boy. Okay. Really? Well, old Larry insisted on going and getting my bird with the dog. He's uh, he's wanting to work Jack a bunch today, and. And that's kind of been the thing here on all these early season hunts that I go on. A lot of dog owners are wanting to get their dogs out, wanting to get them trained up and ready for the season. Especially when that cold really comes in, crack-a-lacking on these dogs. Uh, some, some dogs really, you know, react bad to the cold. So you got to get them trained here on these early hunts before, uh, before this fair weather is just out the door. Oh, looky there, boys. The first green head. Look at him, he's loving it. Jack finally got him a duck. Looky there. Nice green. Very nice. Yeah, it is. First green head of the season. Well, I should say first cans. Oh my god, look at these out front. Oh. Well, we got caught with our pants down there. There we go. First duck down too. We got the puddle ducks moving now. Yes. Good boy. Good boy, Jack. What a beaut. Just a good looking green head. That's a big guy there. What you got there? Oh shit, right in front of the Oh. Larry, huh? uh, there was no way I was going to be ready for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, we're over here trying to eat goose sticks. Larry, he's ready. <laughs> he's relentless. <laughs> Hurry up and get these goose sticks out so we can help Larry kill some birds. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, oh, man, look at that. That's a hog. Mike made us some goose and duck sticks. Oh man. Can't somebody make them up for you? <laughs> I shot these two. Shot these two white ones. One was flop around the water about the time Bo went after it. Yeah. He grabbed the, 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 the goose 
and boat and everything was underwater for about five seconds. Really? Yeah, they were completely submerged, yeah. Dove after that sucker, huh? Yeah. Well, I don't know if the bird took him under or not. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Woo yeah, we are back home as you can tell. And uh, it wasn't a banger hunt, you could say. This is how public land duck hunting goes. Private land duck hunting as well. You just, you never know if it's gonna be good or bad. You can do all the scouting in the world. You can do all the driving in the world. You can find the X, you can find where the birds are. But come the next day, it might be completely different. So what I decided to do was not scrap this video. You know, when we were out in the marsh, I'm like, man, this ain't even gonna make a video. What can I do with this? And I think the best thing is to come back and finish it out on a foul Friday for y'all. We're gonna go take a seat in the old flower chair and I'm gonna give you my explanation and the reason why today wasn't a banger because we figured out exactly why. So today, the reason why today didn't work well, it was scouted found the birds the day before, but what happened was a lot of the birds were spilling over us. We saw a ton of birds. We saw a lot of birds that just didn't want a decoy. There were two other hunters behind us, one at about 400 yards and the other at about another 400 yards. And we watched them shoot into some groups and I can tell you, I never seen one group of birds decoy on those guys well. They were sky busting the entire time. We could have sky busted a lot more birds, but we were like, you know what? We just we just don't feel like sky busting today. And, and I don't feel like sky busting a lot of days, but some days that's the only option you got. So long story short, when these birds were headed out, that's when we shot them at the beginning. That's when we had a, a, you know, a very few, few amount of birds actually somewhat do it over the decoys or just take a low pass. That's when I shot the mallard. But on the rebound, when they all started coming back to the marsh, when they are coming back from feed, they didn't want anything to do with us. They were just going straight over our decoys, straight over the boat. Uh, just were not interested in our decoys at all all i mean every group wasn't interested whatsoever so what was going on was like i said we we're on the east they're on the west and the birds were coming from the east and going right over us because they wanted to get to the west side the west side how birds work guys how birds work when you see them grouped up that's me that means they found a good food source so what's happening is all these birds found that good food food source when there's a good food source I don't care how far away a bird is, one or two miles, they're gonna see where them live birds are. So that's what happened. Birds were going over us trying to get four miles east to go where all the other birds were going. So it's the same thing on private fields. When you have a field that you're hunting and everything's landing either at the other end of the field or it's landing across the road, you can't contest, you cannot compete with live action birds. Your, your fake decoys will never win the battle, people. I guarantee it. And today was a prime example of that. We had a mojo. We had a bubbler. We had three to four dozen decoys out. Good looking decoys. Had a great mixed bag of decoys. We only had about uh, probably a dozen and a half mallards. And then the rest, probably two and a half dozen, were all brand new. Widgeon, Gadwall, and a lot of puddler decoys. So we had the right setup for the birds that were there. I mean, our decoys looked amazing and it matched the hatch perfectly. But again, guys, we weren't where the birds wanted to be. Neither were the other hunters around us. None of us shot anything. The only people that shot stuff today were the people on the west side of the marsh. Plain and simple. So like always, this is one of those things where the only thing you can do is drive and scout. You can, you can, all you can do is try it. That's what we did today. And that's what all you guys do every single time you go out. Either you're going to have luck or you're not. A lot of public hunts are like that, guys. Either you're just going to wreck them and get into them or you're barely going to shoot anything at all. That's how public hunting goes. But here he is. I haven't cleaned him yet. It's only about... It's only been about two hours after the hunt here. 
but check out that guy. What a beau of a greenhead, dude. Just a nice, mature bird right there. I mean, just absolutely awesome. I love greenheads. I think we're all just... We got a, uh, all of us duck hunters just have a fire burning inside for these guys. These greenheads, I'm telling you, I haven't really got to hold one all year. We shot them up north of Minnesota, but everything was so fast paced that I didn't really get to uh, admire the birds and check them out. And I can tell you, it's, uh, we've, I've shot a lot of Widgeon and Gadwall already this year, and especially Teal, but greenheads, man, there's just something about them. I'm telling you what. But, like always, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, I, I need some suggestions for the how-to videos. You guys have done great, and I've actually wrote down a lot of your comments here in the last week about what type of hunts I should do. And believe me, we have some epic solo hunts coming, and we have some other hunts that I can't speak of yet, but you guys are absolutely going to enjoy them, I promise. So you guys really need to stay tuned to the channel. You need to subscribe if you haven't because I'm going to have some one-off hunts coming out that you guys are really, really going to enjoy, I promise you. But if you guys haven't went to the website and checked out the early riser hat, you probably need to go pick you something up. It goes directly to supporting the channel. And it helps me bring you guys more of these videos. But today's a prime example why we call this hunting and not killing. I want to thank you guys for being here. Each and every one of you is what helps this channel revolve, keep going, growing, building, all of the great positive things that I love about what I do is all because of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But again, thank you for being here. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Thank you. You can't sip whiskey, gotta drink.